Governor Murphy today reminded small businesses in need of personal protective equipment of an important deadline this week. Businesses and nonprofits with 100 or fewer employees can apply for nearly 70% discounts on PPE purchases through the New Jersey Economic Development Authority. But to get those discounts, they must apply by this Thursday. PSCG recently announced it would acquire a 25% stake in Orsted's offshore wind farm. But the interest in clean energy is not just limited to big companies. The Murphy administration is getting set to roll out programs next year that would benefit smaller startups focused on clean technology. The EDA is partnering with the New Jersey Commission on Science, Innovation and Technology on this effort. Judith Sheff is the commission's executive director. It's really to help drive the innovation associated with the clean energy master plan and help drive innovation from early stage entrepreneurs. One of the new programs would provide those entrepreneurs with grant money. Applications will be made available early next year. PSCG and Orsted are funders of NJ Spotlight News. It's the holiday season, so that means scammers are in full force. Some people are receiving fake phone calls about their Amazon accounts. Recorded messages claim an order is lost, can't be filled, or there's a suspicious purchase. The calls sound like this. An unauthorized purchase of an iPhone XR 64 gigabytes for $749 is being ordered from your Amazon account. The Federal Trade Commission says the scammers then try to get personal information from their victims. A break for student loan borrowers. The U.S. Education Department has extended the freeze on student loan payments until the end of January. The freeze was supposed to end on December 31st. Now here's a check on trading on Wall Street. I'm Rob Schapler and those are your top business stories.